<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Alrighty, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh. And welcome to what I believe is going to be the final portion of the stream of Chicken Police Painted Red. During that last part, we basically came to the deduction that's like, ah, Albert killed Ibn and took his place. And before we confront him, I wanted to go visit all of, like the side stuff first, which I, it looks like I did. And now it looks like we're ready to actually go to the residence and take it from there. I don't know how the hell this is going to go down. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but let's go for it, shall we? Oh, man, this is going to be something. The sun was shining and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Well, if you don't know where to go, go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Here I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting for me. I absolutely I already see the greenery throughout here. It's awesome. Simi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty, and half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us, and Natasha too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? This is something. Oh, we got here. We got a fancy car. A freaking tower. Wow. How can you be that rich you can have a damn tower? <laughs> the entrance itself, the mansion itself. A rat knight? Okay. Uh, greenhouse. Man, this this guy is a... Uh, he's definitely loaded. Uh, I can, can definitely say that. Oh, this place has its own greenhouse. What do you think's inside? 100% humidity and unbearable heat. Oh, not like that. Could they be growing rarities in there? Or maybe some chicken-eating giant flower monster. What? Oh, you just made that up, right? Nah, I'm sure there's no such thing. <laughs> Do you remember that case? When that old weasel met us in a greenhouse just like this one? Of course I remember. We barely talked for five minutes, but you drank two full glasses of brandy with that old guy. I needed hydration. It was boiling in there. Hydration, huh? A real jungle grows in the middle of the concrete jungle. And the poet is lost in the jungle. A real and the... And what an interesting piece here of Rat Knight. Huh, one of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely, this represents what he thinks of himself. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Eben was planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah. Must be some famous historical figure. How are you with history? Uh, not so good. Hmm. You know, I've always been fascinated by the founding war. Especially the last great battle between the Alliance and the Swamp Clans. 
Don't believe the tales they tell about the war, Marty. There's nothing glorious or beautiful in it. Just endless suffering and misery. And a lot of money, of course. That too. Maybe one day, you'll get your own statue of the PD, boss. I can almost see it now. Not while Blood Boil's alive. Oh, yeah, that's true. Maybe one day... Not while... Oh, yeah. I mean, do you think anybody would be gaudy to have, like, like any of you guys, would you have a statue in your place? Like, or even of, like, yourself? I think, like, that's just way too much, but I can see people doing it. And no, Simi, no, nothing interesting, like, in that, in that effect happened, no, no. Just the idea that Ibn had a secret twin brother, Albert, and Albert actually killed Ibn and took his place. That's what we're here for, to confront him. Is this a mansion? Or a grand palace? Or a small city? Well, if it comes to hide and seek, Old Westler will have an advantage. A serious advantage. Look at all these plants. It's like nature's claiming back what's hers. Yeah, amazing. Strange how someone so rotten inside, like Wessler, can still dream something so beautiful to surround himself with. Look at all these plants. Yeah. Strange how... Quite the steed, isn't it? Seems nowadays organized crime pays well in Clawville. <laughs> Are you surprised? The chicken police retired. Well, they say the team's back together again. Nah, that's impossible. Oh, yeah. It's true. We could also drive around in one of these, huh? Do you think we would have made it as gangsters? I don't think so, Marty. We're born to be suckers. Honest suckers, at least. Same thing. Wessler sure has a sense of style. Do you mean his car or Natasha? Both. Fair enough. Took the word right out of my mouth. I was about to say both, and boom. Wessler sure. You... Fair enough. All right. What the hell is it? Water tower? Turret? A frickin' lighthouse? I think it's a monument to an enormous ego, Marty. Well, anyone who builds a tower this big must be trying to compensate for something. Or he just has too much dough. It could be both. Who knows? It's a long way down. Well, we could finally find out if you can fly or not. Wanna try? It's a long... Well, we could... All right. I think that's it in terms of what we can, like, look around at. I left the entrance alone because it looks like we'll probably get a closer look in there. But, uh... All right. Hey, not so fast, chickens. Please excuse my partner. He didn't mean to be rude. It's just his, uh, terrible habits. As you may already know. Really? Really? You two assholes? You guys shot at me. Twice, I should say. But Archibald, even with that, Archibald is still a very polite guy, apparently. But, alright. Is that a Carkel cat? I think it's actually, it's a bobcat, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bobcat. I was trying to think back to the, uh, when it, when they kept referencing them in the game, but yeah. All right. Look who's here. What a surprise. Our biggest fans. What do you think? Should we give them our autographs? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if there was like a weird break there. I had to do something in the meantime. Uh, ha 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 ha. Um, so yeah, we were in the middle of uh, talking to these guys, right? Please tell me there's going to be a glorious shootout. If we're lucky, Marty. If we're lucky. Please tell me if we're lucky. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them? Tommy guns? Oh yeah, now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. Exactly. <sighs> what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, 
The lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sights while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy, pal. We're not even here anymore. Until next time, boys. Really? They're just gonna let us go just like that? Do you sense that, Sonny? Hmm, I do sense something. A case of hyper-stupidity. And utter incompetence. You're right. Don't shit with me, you foul. It won't work well for you. I'm afraid my partner speaks that truth, gentlemen. Such tall and handsome creatures, aren't they, partner? Sure are, partner. <sighs> Do you sense that? And you're All right. Sure? I guess that's that with them. This must lead to Wessler and Natasha's suite. Let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in, like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns. But I hope it won't come to that. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Tonight. Yeah. Just don't let it be us. Yeah. The Bobcat never liked us at all. And there's a Miss Olivia there. Absolutely love the greenery, though, this. They, they really did well with, with, with this whole area. It's like the vegetation's trying to suffocate these beautiful walls. Maybe it will. Maybe in a hundred years, nothing will be here but plants. An endless, planet-sized jungle. That's quite a dark thought. Yeah. It is. It's like some ancient virus. Do you mean both? Oh crap, that's new. My bad. It's like some ancient virus is poisoning the place. Do you mean the plants or Albert? Both, I guess. What else was there? Walls. I'll talk to Olivia last. Ooh, architecture. This place is incredible, but it kind of gives me the creeps. Because you know what lies behind the beauty. With Natasha, too? I haven't decided yet. You still haven't decided after all this time? Really? He, he's blinded. All right. Her body resembles mine. Well, good for you then, yeah? I wonder how Albert feels about this place. From a cell to a mansion. Insane, isn't it? You took the words right out of my beak. I wonder how you took... I think that's it. I was hoping I would find those damn books, but I still haven't seen them. I really hope I didn't miss them, but I, I probably did. I thought I was thorough enough. Why can we only see... Can we see green right now? Is it to hide something? No, I mean, the game has used subtle instances of color here and there throughout the game. And I think because we're, like, reaching the end of it, um, I think, like, they're showing more and more of it, especially because of the greenery. Huh. I wasn't expecting to see Olivia here. She's real close to Wessler. But how much does she know? Much more than me, I guess. That wouldn't be hard. Maybe you should talk to her. She was your girlfriend, after all. Uh, we only had two dates, and they weren't great. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Marty, Marty, Marty. Maybe you should talk. Uh, Why am I... Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now, if you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin! Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. You mean Natasha. Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? <laughs> 
hello? What do they not understand, Olivia? Oh, hello. So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Hitsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh... <clears throat> Please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin, it's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katzenko. All right, then. You thought Natasha was dead for some reason? I mean, uh, I can pr probably see why you know, people may think that, but uh, no, no, no. She's still around. Don't you dare get any funny ideas. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just surprised that she's actually here. I tried to warn you. Thanks, Olivia. <sighs> I tried to... <sighs> You know, I had a dream before we came here. I saw Natasha with a bloody mouth and red claws. And what does that tell you? I don't know, Marty. I admit it. I haven't been this on edge for a long time. Uh, I'm just angry. Truth is, I'm not entirely sure why. Your sense of justice kicking in? More like my sense of don't fuck with the chicken police. I think it's gonna be both used figuratively and literally, considering how freaking Sonny's acting. Alrighty, Danny, thank you so much for coming out. I really do appreciate it. You have a you have a good night. And I may finish before you get back home, but we'll see. Uh, if not, then maybe I'll see you tonight at your stream. I don't know just yet. Depends on if I get busy later tonight. There she is, the femme fatale. Yeah, our fate in her hands. And what lovely hands they are, huh? With sharp claws, Marty. Come on, Sonny. Deep breath. Pull yourself together. You got this, Sonny. Guys, give me one moment. Nope, never mind. Okay. The truth is... Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. Are you sure this can't wait? Oh, she rescheduled? Okay. All right, then. I totally missed that, then. Thanks for letting me know, Justin. You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Savas. Wild gods. Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. You have to know, right? Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long, to put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door's always open to the legendary chicken police. Please, uh, come on in, guys. Let's uh, talk in my room. Then this way, please. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, 
Go and refresh yourself or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. I am scared. Come on, Sonny. Thanks. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we got to do this, huh? Book. Farewell from Fowls. Very possible. I must um, unless we get like another scene somewhere. It's very possible I missed a book, which sucks. Hmm. The music's cool. I love it's called the painting. Yeah, but he's really bothered me the way he's uh, sitting, uh, standing there, menacingly, uh, with his hands in his night robe. This estate is rather impressive, Mr. Wessler. Well, thank you. I suppose it took years and years of cumbersome work to build it. Yeah. As you say, Mr. Featherland, I'm rather proud of it. You should be. Whoever built this place has a reason to be proud of himself. Are you trying to say something, sir? No, no, just thinking aloud. I can see you're very attracted to nature. I thought rats preferred the urban environment. Oh, don't take that the wrong way, of course. Not all rats are the same, Detective. Natasha and I uh, love the closeness of nature. Yeah, especially lately. I find cold, close walls repulsive. I... I don't understand why you're telling me this. Oh, it's nothing. Not important. Sonny's really pushing it. I'd just like to grab him and throw him out the window. Maybe in due time, man. In due time. It would finally end everything quick and easy. It would finally... Impressive bed. Looks cozy. Sure is better than a cell. That's right, Marty. I'm not sure I understand, gentlemen. We'll see about that. Uh, the show reminds you. Wait, this reminds you of the Amanda Anaconda show? Oh God, I despised that show when I was a kid because it freaked me out. Like that—that that was the only reason why I didn't watch it growing up. Is like, well, one, I think actually, I don't know if it was around when I when I finally got cable. Maybe it was, but anytime I did see it, like period, I'm like, ooh, no, it's creepy. I never turned it on. But I know like a lot of people really enjoyed it I uh, I don't know it, it, it just that one wasn't for me it almost gives me the creeps just looking at it it almost gives gun ooh that that's a nice looking brandy I got that met yeah would you like a drink this is a rather rare brandy it lifts the spirits if I may be so, uh, poetic. Really? Tempting, but I need to keep a clear head, Mr. Wessler. Yeah, I've heard you don't despise a good vintage. And I've heard you don't despise murder, Wessler. By the way, you've heard right. But everything has its place and time. Drinks, guns, dead bodies, and the truth. Yeah, I see you're in a poetic mood as well. More like prophetic. And that's not a good sign. Yeah. Are you trying to intimidate me? No, that's not how we do business. We're gentlemen. I really hope so. It's a little early for that, isn't it? Yeah. Some people need coffee to start their day, Mr. Featherland. I start with a good brandy. Damn. You know what? In your place, I'd do the same. Maybe I should confiscate it as evidence. Yeah, yeah, evidence. Man, I I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. Like, take a shot or a drink of alcohol first thing in the morning. I, I'd probably just throw it right up. 
I, I just can't. But, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that operate like that, so... Mm. Do you keep a revolver in your bedroom? Yeah, a bad habit. One who has a lot to lose has a lot to fear. I agree. Have you been suffering... Yeah, no. Oop. Have you been suffering from nightmares recently? Yeah, no. I sleep like a baby, if you want to know. Really? I've been plagued by them. So I always sleep with my gun. Yeah, I'm, uh, sorry to hear that. It's an unmistakable sign. It's an unmistakable... So if we keep him away from an adjuster, then it'll all be fine, right? Unless he has one on him, which I wouldn't be surprised if he does. All right. I think we're ready to speak with Wessler. This can go many ways. Oh, wait. I totally forgot to check the damn painting. You've had margarita slushies in the morning before work? Oh, wow. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. That's a painting. This painting? It's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. You're right, Sonny. You're quite the observer. Well, yeah, this painting's unfortunately damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch, because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough! Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. Easy, Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. I never realized that I... You know, I think, because I haven't examined that painting, or like the, the piece of the painting in so long, I totally forgot it had A.W. on it. Or I thought maybe when we first... Because I, I was like, I thought, I could be totally wrong about this. But I thought like the only thing that we knew of, like, okay, what, who have we met before, who do we know that could have be A.W. or anything like that, or... Wait, I thought it was AU. Wait a minute. Where is the... Hold on, let me, let me finish up with this. It's unbelievable how much trouble one single painting can make. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, detective. I'll make it clear for you soon enough. Be patient, Mr. Wessler. Even my patience has its limits, you know. I'm not surprised painting it drove Albert crazy. Let me take a look at this. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. No, my bad. The whole A... I thought it was A-S or something like that, or U-S. No, 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 that, that was for the swather, Swathering Nile. Never mind. Um, I don't know if they ever told us that they had an anagram A-W on it. No, because it only shows the little W there. Oh, and there's the thing. That's the A. Never mind. I was I was com I was com uh, bleh. I was confused with something else going on. So, uh, what was that, Jaden? You remember once having some whiskey before work and you were called in instead of scheduled? The manager had a laugh and I told him that I'm buzzed and might say weird things around him. You had a a very very uh what was I was gonna say a passionate manager then. <laughs> Your parents are shocked and trying not to laugh after I told them about the call. Oh my god. Your co-worker snuck some eggnog during work. Some, uh, She gave me a little damn. She spiked it well. <laughs> we have meetings of alcohol at work. You know what? Um, one of my jobs, yeah, we had that. Uh, the job I had... Oh man. It's almost been like... Oh my god, it's almost been six years ago since I had this job. But um, they had something where it was called like a beer garden. And every... Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, just in the middle of the day, free beer. Like, you, you can, like, grab a beer, talk whoever, maybe grab a couple. Um, but yeah, it was just a way to relax. I have no idea if they still do that, but 
That was one of the more interesting offices that I worked at, for sure. And I don't even know if I ever actually had eggnog, honestly. It was it was nothing that something we just never did around here ever in my family, so. Eh. But yeah, I'd be surprised if anybody does any Christmas parties at all. Um so up. Oh, hold on really quick, guys. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Wessler or look at him first. Interesting. Now that I know who he really is, he doesn't even resemble Eben Wessler. The whole thing is so transparent. We must finally put an end to this case, even if it kills us. Eh, I'm not really sure about that now, right? We must finally... So, uh, what do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. We also got an achievement for that. Nice. Uh, oh, all right, Jaden. Thank you so much for coming out, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Jaden. You'll, you'll have to just catch up with the VOD or when I eventually put it up on YouTube. I'm so sorry. But I hope you enjoy your night. Wait, you wear a bathrobe everywhere you go? I don't know if I own one. I think that's something I'd like to eventually have. Because it'll, it'll make me feel like, hey, yeah, look at me. I'm somebody. Like a monogrammed robe. Night robe. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we going to flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah. So let's continue like that, shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours. With fire, with machine guns, I could go on. And while we're at it, you could answer some of our questions. If you've nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. And then we'll just leave you alone. All right, I'll go along with your childish little game. I would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway. So, can we start? With pleasure, Mr. Wessler. I guess we have no choice. My time's precious, chickens. Get to the point before I lose my patience. Don't rush us, Mr. Wessler. We'll get to the point when it's time. My time's... Don't rush... All right, let's go down the line here. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she, uh, really worries more than usual, but it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh... Since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler, what Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. Yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's not worth it. You're funny, you know that? Oh, can we kill him? About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, 
More or less that has to do with the painting. We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So Albert made the painting at your request, is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, yes. But if you already have the right information, suddenly it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? You mean, uh, me? You. No, I mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And do you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wesler? I... Eh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? We're just doing our job. Then do it clearly. And quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. Okay, fine. If that's the way you want it, let's go. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession. In which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her, even the most horrible things. Eh, yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a... normal. No one would believe his word, don't you understand? But they believe yours, right? Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand why. But she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness and the darkness? What could you know about hate, huh? Oh, then there we go. The last piece of questioning is now opened up. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I feel like it's gonna be a difficult one, so... Uh... Yay. Oh, never mind. Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, and might not even know who he really is. I have to concentrate on this first, to soften him up, and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. I mean, that's why I don't like it when somebody has their damn hands in their pockets. It's like, oh, shoot, here we go. His voice reminds you of the Green Goblin in the, in the Spider-Man movie. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually, yeah. Oh, but it actually bothered me. William Defoe or Willem Defoe. Dear God, he played that role like majestically. He freaks me out. Willem Defoe is a is a guy that just always always like just freak me out. So what does it say again on how to focus on this? He's not who he says he is and might not even know who he really is. You have to concentrate on this first to soften him up and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. What were you thinking, Albert? How long did you think you could keep it up? Until the end of my life, if needs. 
Yeah, I cared about nothing except for her to love me. Not for who Evan was, but for who I am. Why did you think that would happen? Everybody noticed the change. Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Evan. They only had to believe I'm him. All right. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm probably going to jack this up bad. He wanted to wrap everyone around your dirty little fingers, didn't you? When did you decide to take your brother's place? Hmm. I don't know. I, I would like to go for the second one, because it's like a more of a question to get more information. The first one, it plays on his idea of being a manipulator, though, right? You want to wrap everyone around your dirty little fingers. But I, I just feel like he's going to get pissed off. Let's go for the second one. Why did you decide to take your brother's place? Yeah, as you're curious. From the moment I laid eyes on Natasha for the first time. But I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother. Am I right? Are you insane? Yeah, Abel would have had me killed immediately. And no one would ever know. So instead, you've done the same thing, haven't you? What a comfortable excuse. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the most. Cry me a river. Yeah, you know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between love and hate. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, evasive answer. So I'm right. That's actually really good for me to do there. Was that plus 15? Alright. It's also cruel. That's what was added there. Why do you why do you have to wait, why'd you have to mutilate it, Ibn? Why didn't you just kill him immediately? You wanted to wrap everyone. Did you ever believe that you were Ibn Wessler? I don't know if that's what Yeah, why did you mutilate him? I mean, it, like that that's what's weird. It's like he said he wanted to destroy and get rid Well, this mutilating is because if you just switch places with him and put him back in in the in the um, in the institution, I mean he could easily said, "Hey, I'm actually Hobart." But well, either way, let's go with that one. Why'd you mutilate him? Why did you have to mutilate Ibn? Why didn't you just kill him immediately? That's an interesting question, you see. But the the answer is exceptionally simple. No matter how strange it is for you to understand, I loved my brother. Weird way of showing you love, Albert. You can't understand that. He was my everything, the only one who was close to me. Until I met Natasha. She took your brother's place pretty quickly, didn't she? There's not much room in your heart as I see it. Yeah, you're understanding the situation, Detective. But you know uh, very well it's not that simple. Ibn was my brother. I loved him despite all of his flaws and foul, petty lies. That's why I couldn't kill him. Not immediately, you mean? Unfortunately, tearing out his tongue wasn't enough. Yeah, I must admit I've uh, underestimated him. And poking out his eye? Oh, uh, that was just an accident, Mr. Featherland. Just an accident? You're a dirty, clucking son of a vermin, Albert. Please, uh, don't be vulgar, Sonny. It's too dangerous in your current situation, and doesn't even suit you. Well, that was not good at all to ask. So, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to retry this, to be honest with you guys, but... Oh, well. Did you enjoy tearing out your own brother's tongue? How did it feel? Uh, does it make you happy to, con to control others, Albert? So you're, you feel you're two people at the same time even now? Do I really? I kind of want to go with this first one, though, but I feel like it's going to piss him off even more. You feel like he's going to say, Godspeed, Spider-Man? <laughs> that shift in tone in his voice at the end of the movie there was great. 
Did you enjoy tearing out your own brother's tongue? How did it feel? Yeah, you think you know everything, don't you? You know nothing. It was the sacrifice of a lifetime. The most are too cowardly to uh, act when the time comes. On the contrary, it's a cowardly act. Is that why you hate yourself so much, Albert? Don't call me that, you hear? I can't help it. That's your name. Albert Whistler's dead, Mr. Featherland. Well, that was really... I don't think I ever got a negative 30 before. Ouch. I really am jacking up this uh, particular questioning, but, um... All right. What would you do if... What have you done if Natasha found out? Kill her, too? What makes you think you can deceive her? Okay, what about deceiving? What made you think you could deceive Natasha? Because Natasha loved Dippin in her own unique way. Yeah, and if there's anything that can blind an animal, it's love and hate. Everything revolves around these two things, Mr. Featherland. Is everything black and white to you? No. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Everything's gray in this world. Only two things have color. Love and hate. I see you understand now, Sonny. Yeah, we're not that different, you and I. Albert, you're everything I'm not. And I'm everything you're not, believe me. Yeah, if that makes it easier for you, detective. Well, I jumped up ten. So that's something. That was your plan. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why? Isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect, even in its imperfection. Which is? Ibn's ghost. Is... is what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about, uh, spirits. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's, uh, too much for you to understand. So you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious, because looking at the gun in Wessler's trembling hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel psychopath, but maybe I can turn that cruelty against him. Man, I was going to say, like, was his hand shaking the entire time? Because I, I didn't think it was. But now it's like, uh, not looking too great. When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Fiddleland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Natasha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in love with her? End of story? Not in the slightest, Mr. Fiddleland. Love is, a. Uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland. Not at all. At that moment, I knew what I was gonna do. I knew that the world was coming to an end if I didn't do it. It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't. Let him have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. Okay. Oh, man, I'm worried now. Wounded. Hmm. He's a cruel psychopath. Maybe I can turn a cruelty against him, and he's wounded. What did you do that made... What did you do that made Ibn get you locked up? Well, well... Okay. You enjoyed leading everyone by the nose, didn't you? Do you think you can explain everything with your insanity? You're just a cheap copy, you know that, right? I don't think I want to choose any of these. Maybe only the first one. Because it's like, yeah, he's a cool psychopath. Maybe I can turn that cruelty against him. I'm worried that's just going to drive him over the edge. The man has a gun in his trembling hand. I doubt I want to... Yeah, piss him off, you know. What did you do that made Eben get you locked up? That's a sharp turn, detective. It just came to me, you know? 
Where did it all start? Where did all the hate and jealousy come from? Jealousy? Mm. What are you talking about? Aw, oh, come on, Albert. Alone. Locked up at the end of the world. While your brother is one of the most influential figures of Clawville. Driving an expensive car, living in a mansion, with the city's most desirable woman in his bed. Why wouldn't you be jealous? Yeah, Albert was jealous of Ibn. Maybe he still is. But I understand why he did it. Albert was beyond control. And dangerous. What does that mean, exactly? Albert did our mother wrong. Poor old mom. She never heard her fly. But Albert couldn't take that she was praising his brother all the time while Albert was just an unsuccessful, foolish, poor painter. What did you do to her, Albert? Albert killed her. It looked like an accident, but uh, Ibn knew it wasn't. That was the last straw. Albert had to be locked up, and he agreed. He never said no to his brother. But he never forgot who did this to him either. Did he? Ibn was really good to him. Visited him every week. Did everything he could. Even introduced Natasha in the end. And that was his downfall. Both of them, Sonny. And yours, too. Well, that was okay. I mean, it was only a plus five, but move this up. Oh, damn. Yeah, him talking to third person is, uh, it is, yeah, it's not good. Uh, the, the man's kind of out there at this point. Um, ha, huh, did you hate Ibn or yourself more, Albert? When did you decide that we too have to die? Did you hate Ibn or yourself more, Albert? Albert hated himself the most ever since he was born. He, uh, he idolized Ibn. But every time his brother stood before him, he saw what he could have been himself if he had enough strength. But he didn't. Albert had always been a coward, a, a pitiful nobody. And now? Finally, there's no more Albert. And no more Ibn either. It's only me, and for both of them, I'm perfect. Can it be that the fear is making you say these things, Albert? Stop calling me that. I have to call you something. What should I call you? What name should I use? Uh, I, I don't know anymore. I, I don't. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wounds. That was a negative five? Damn. Well. Alright. Very close to breaking him, but I'm too hard on him. I could be signing my own death warrant. She was kind to you, right? Too kind. If you still have a spy and you put that gun to your own head. Oof. <laughs> that seems a little harsh, right? Natasha was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was a... Uh... Simply amazing, gentle, kind, lively, but still so, uh, distant. You're telling me. It's like she was from another world. A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do, yes. I knew Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him, can't you see? This is the only way I could comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. Was? I... I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on the canvas anymore. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. That's actually kind of frightening, frankly. His ass was beginning clammy from holding that gun. I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, and that's what freaks me out, though, because it's like, you better not be, you know, pointing that shit at me anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. I think this might be the last question right here. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No. You can't understand this. She can't either. 
I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you see? We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. I admired her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized her, and I hated her. And if there's anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and warm feeling. And infinitely red. Just like love. You know you're not going to be able to go through with it, right? That you won't be able to carry the weight. But you still did it. Why? Yeah. If I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats? Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you killed Deborah? In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her, just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? More than life itself. You see? We're not so different after all. You and I have nothing in common, Wesler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. Oof. Ouch. Oof. Oof. 40%. Ouch. Okay. Well, I gotta do that over again. So... <laughs> I mean, I could just finish the game, but I, I... I mean, I did perfect all this time before... I gotta get this right. Uh, but wh what did he call me? I, I'm a rusted copper. Not bad, but not good either. It's okay for a rookie, but you can do better. Next time, pull yourself together and pay attention to signs. Focus, Sonny. All right, well, let's let's do that. Albert again. is an impost. What were you thinking, Albert? Uh, and then this one should be 15. Okay, this one I had negative 10. Because I said, why did you, why'd you mutilate him? Uh, let's try, did you ever want to believe that you were Ibn? Did you ever believe that you were Ibn Wessler? Did I ever believe? I still do. I believed it all along. Don't you get it? I am Ibn Wessler. And also, Albert Wessler. I see you're starting to understand. Ooh, that was really good. All right, good. That fixed up that one entirely. Good, 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 good. Now, this is the one I really jacked up at. I I, <laughs> I chose that first one about like how did it feel tearing out your brother's tongue? Negative thirty. That's what ruined it. Yeah, you know, yeah, just like you said, Derpy, he's, right now, his hands are fine, not doing anything. So I didn't piss him off yet. Um, so which one would be better? Do you feel like you're two people at the same time even now? Does it make you happy to control the others? Let's say, do you feel like you're two people at the same time? So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Does it sound crazy? <laughs> Maybe it is. But Ibn lives inside me. Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? Eh, I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend, uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold-blooded killer you'd like to think you are. Yeah, do you think so? Try me, detective. Okay. I was actually worried about that one, but uh, plus 10. Okay. I'll take it. But see, we're only at halfway. Jeez. It's going to take some time. Um, later, his hands sweaty and mom's spaghetti. <laughs> mom's spaghetti. Uh, this one, what did I pick? Oh, shoot. Not this one. 
But I don't remember this one being here. That was your plan? Take his place and live happily ever after? Because I think I chose this one. What made you think you can deceive Natasha? And I got plus 10 for it. But I'm interested in knowing what happens here. That was your plan. That was your plan. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why, isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect, even in its imperfection. Which is? Ibn's ghost is... Wait, we talked about this, actually. He was he Ooh, that was actually really good. That gave me plus 20. Because I think the other question opened that one up. Good, 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 good. His hands are shaking a little bit now, yeah. When was the moment when I, you uh, no I wanted Wait, that gave me ten? Uh oh. Oh my notes are a little bit messed up now. Um Crap, what did I pick here? I think I picked a what what made you what did you demand it given Ibn get you locked up? I forgot. Well, hold what on. Did you, it, what, what did you help it, buddy? And both of them. Plus five. How the hell did I get all the way over here? It's like I skipped a bunch. Okay. I'm a little confused now. Hmm. And then this one. I think I chose. Like. Do you hate Ibn or yourself more, Albert? And I got negative five. Let's try this. When did you decide that we too have to die? Can I be honest? I didn't want to hurt you, even after what you've done at the club, after interrogating Natasha and me so cruelly. I didn't care. You just saw what's on the outside, just scratching the surface. Until we found Deborah. I didn't even know about you finding her until the phone call from the Nile. Then it all became clear. I understood I underestimated you. I had to remedy that mistake before it was too late. You remove anyone if they happen to cross your path, don't you? Without batting an eye. Even had always been like that. Albert the opposite, so don't think I wasn't struggling, but uh, eventually, yeah. Courage won every time. You mean fear. Yeah. What do you know about these concepts, Detective? You spent your life chasing petty nobodies until you turned into one of them. I may be a nobody, Mr. Wessler, but at least I know who and what I am. I'm Santino Featherland. Tell me, can you still tell who you really are? Albert, Ibn, both of them, neither. Enough, Santino. Enough games. Ask your last question before I get tired of you and pull the trigger. I'm very close to breaking. Okay. That was plus 20. The problem is I don't... I can't figure out where I am in my damn questioning anymore from the notes I took. Because I could have sworn... I could have sworn... That when I picked this, this one for about Natasha, that was negative 5. Can you guys remember what happened if I did that? Oh, damn it. The thing is, I'm pretty close. I haven't had any negatives yet. But... I don't know how many questions I asked him yet. Hmm. Because that one just seems really harsh to put it like... He's a spy. Yeah, Hold on. So this is Natasha I'm, I'm, one. Which one does this do? No, that was plus 15. Thank God. Okay. And this is the last one. Maybe it. No. You. It, you. And more. You. you why, because. Yep. So long. Are you kidding me? Oh, what else do I need to do? This is rough. That one I had, uh, that one I had all, um, positives. And I still didn't get it because I, one of them was a plus five, but I don't know. I don't know what the hell the better answer is though. Shoot. 
I'm kind of stuck here. I mean, yeah, it's still good, but the thing is, like, everything else has been, uh, what the hell is it called? Has been Living Legend, and I, I'd like to, like, keep that up if I can. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, crap. I really don't want to look it up, but at the same time, because I'm so damn close, uh... I apologize, guys. I mean, I, I'm, like, right there, but I think I'm just kind of, like, I just kind of want to go ahead and, and, uh, and just, um, get the right thing and call it, and then we can finish the game. Um, the problem is I gotta try finding the right one. Okay. Well, I found it. <laughs> I'm cheating. Oh, no. My bad, but... Uh, frankly, I don't care. All right, retry. Albert, isn't it? What were you? Yeah. Why did you decide to take your brother? Oh, for place? God's sakes! You, Are you, so comfort for you can. Yeah. Actually, that worked. Um, I think a lot of these. Um, did you? I see it. I was actually kind of close. Um. So you? Yeah, like so far, I had I have these answers right. Um, take your place, live happily ever after. I must. When, when we decide to kill him. So, hmm. Where's my chat? Here it is. Uh, wait a minute. Where the hell was I again? I'm sorry. I actually lost. I can't even read the damn god here. Uh,. Oh, okay, so this one I picked, um, what did you do that made Ibn get you locked up? But actually, what you're, I guess, are supposed to say, um, do you think you can explain everything with your insanity? Do you think you can explain everything with your insanity? Don't be a fool, Sonny. Insanity is just a temporary state. Just a stop on the way to enlightenment. So you admit you're insane. That's surprising. For your kind. Of course, I'm not insane. Ah, oh, well, here we are. Albert was insane. He lost all connections to reality. But I saved him. You mean, you're Gibbon? Both of us, Mr. Featherland. Okay. I almost understand everything now. Don't mock me, Mr. Featherland. You're still at the wrong end of the gun, you remember. It would be hard to forget. All right. So, yeah, that was literally the only question that I needed to fix. Everything else I eventually had was fine. So. Oh, well. When can I, I, you, I was close. I'm very. And then Natasha was too kind. And actually, that's it. Um, Where's my OBS? There it is. Maybe. All right, goodbye. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. You got an achievement for it. I believe that's to do, to do Living Legend for every single rank or questioning thing. So, huh. now I feel better. Let's enjoy the uh, conclusion of all this. What happened? What? <gasps> Natasha! Wow. So, you heard everything. I heard everything. I'm sorry I had to find out like this. And thank you. If it weren't for you, Yes, both of you would be dead, I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know, I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. 
It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. And regarding Molly? Oh no, it's a popo! The cops. But how? How do they know? I have no idea, Marty. Do not look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more worried about us than her. Hello, boss. Hello, boys. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Santino. Monica already told me everything. Monica? Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, Mon. Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Hey, mine too. Of all that's furry, we don't want to hear that. And boys... Uh, yes, boss? I don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want a report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. What Marty's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. But we're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? Why does everybody keep asking that? Why indeed? So can we go now, boss? Without getting handcuffed? Don't give me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Look at all these achievements I'm getting. Yay! I'm like, I guess I can still talk to a few people here. Uh, oh, and Chewie, welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, like, a bunch of things opened up here. But yeah, Natasha saved our lives the last minute once Albert had revealed everything. So there we go. That's it. But is it really over? And we actually learn more about people like, uh, I think Monica had a new one, right? She knew what we we're up to in informing the boys just in time. If not for her, Wester's goons would have most likely riddled us of bullets. Excuse me. I think we also have one for Blood Boil. Uh, the old man's small, hairy heart softened in the end, huh? Uh, and all it took was the downfall of a gangster empire. Nothing more. Santino's kind of hot? What do you mean the actual... Physically? Or do you mean by his voice? <laughs> uh, let's see. And then... Take a look at the stats here. Oh, we're so close. So we visited all the scenes, all the questioning points. We missed a good number of achievements, but I'm sure they do one thing or another. Got all the codex entries. Ah, missing only one personal information. Ah, hope I can figure that out now. And gallery entries, 46 out of 58. That might be tied to some achievements as well, so. Okay. Boat just eliminate the head. <laughs> uh, oops. Sorry, I clicked out of my game. Pokebot, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Oh, God, Timothy's here. I don't know if I've ever seen Monica in daylight. This means she's real, not just a ghost of the police station. So, you can finally ask her out on a date. I didn't even hear that. Our little savior. How could we ever repay her? Our little... Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those fur heads would have put holes in us. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. It was for us, too. Believe me. How did you know we were here? I always pay attention, Sonny. And because I know you like you are my own nestlings. No, oh, I love it when you say pretty little things like that. Don't get used to it, Marty. So, uh, what's your shoe size again, Mon? 35, Sonny. I like high heels. And because there's two of you, 
Two pairs will do for a start. Anything for you, darling. I don't want just anything, Marty. I want shoes. Yes, ma'am. Yep, she mentioned it before. Size 35, black heels. So. See you at the PD? At the PD, Mon. Damn, I wouldn't have thought it, but I'm glad the old hound's here. Damn. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? Uh, no, sir. Then stop pecking around here. Yes, sir. Santino, you're doing that on purpose? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck out of here. Barking dogs never bite. That's an achievement right there. See, I was going to miss out on that if I didn't talk to him. Santino, you're doing that on purpose. No, sir. Then get... He's so angry, but you still gotta love him. This guy, don't want to talk to him, but he's right here, so... Ah, look what garbage the wind brought in. Good gods, is this guy everywhere? Our faithful chronicler. I swear I'm gonna hang him someday. Well, that's a little rough, now, isn't it? You called him here, didn't you? To witness our grand oh. triumph. Guys, could you please give me one moment? I'll be right back. What? No! You're paranoid, old bird. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Benji's gonna need to go out in just a moment, so. Where the hell was that again? Oh, here we are. You called him here. What? Okay. All right, Siegel. Let's do your thing. How the hell did you find your way here, Tim? Always where the trouble is. Sometimes I think you're the criminal mastermind behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So, where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. You've left quite the mess behind. That, I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, Will you give me an exclusive interview? Clock off, Tim. Hey! I may be happy that's the only thing we said to you. Uh, just one quote, guys. They say you've taken down the whole Wessler Empire. They say... I say you're full of shit, Tim. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> uh, just one quote. I say you... All right, well, that's all there was for him. Um, now, unfortunately, it looks like I missed a book somewhere, but I just don't know where the hell where. Uh, that, that's what kind of sucks. Look at all these plants. It's like nature's claiming back what's hers. Yeah. Amazing. Strange how someone so rock... Wait a minute. These, these don't change you. They oh, look, it's Filmar! What? How the hell I was gonna miss him if, uh... I think Tim is literally standing above him. Or like, you know, because like he's in the foreground, whatever. Damn, okay. Maybe one day he's not wrong yet. What about him? How the hell did he wind up here? I don't know, but it's suspicious. You think someone hired him? Could be. What about him? I don't know. You think could be. You. What are you doing here? I was just driving around. You know, trying to feed your grandpa. So, was it a case? Were you, uh, maybe investigating us? What can I say, Sonny? Am I busted? Did someone hire you to follow us? I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations and it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? A professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do. Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I made a promise. You and your promises. Some people still take them seriously. You're a real piece of guano. You know that? Of course. I've learned everything from you, you old fart. I'm very glad I went to go investigate this statue because that was the last piece of personal info that I needed uh, for the game. 
I think I have an idea who hired you, Phil. Hey, stop it right there. I don't want to know who you think. Oh, are you afraid your reaction would give you away? Huh, you wish, pal. All right. Ah, there's bot number two of the day. I got him, though. Um, man, I kind of feel bad. Benji is kind of barking. You know what, guys? I'm not going to take a break, but um, if you guys could just sit tight for like a few minutes, uh, the ones watching the VODs, I'm sure I'll edit this out, but let me quickly take them out, and then we'll come back, and then we will wrap this all up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry to, to, uh, whew, to do that. But my dog needed to go out. Uh, and it's freezing out there. Oh, man, it's freezing. I hate it. But you know what? I've lived here all my life. I can deal with it. So, whatever. Oh, and Danny, welcome back. Yeah, we, we are literally just about to wrap up. Um, I just got the last piece of um, the people codex thing. I guess for Philmar. He was following us all along, but who's command? I hope that we get to uh, figure that out. And thank you guys for walking back. So I do I do appreciate it. So yeah, it looks like the only things I really missed were uh, the achievements. And I guess maybe those are tied to the galleries? I don't know. Oh well. And thank you guys for walking back. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to Natasha. What will happen to her now? I don't know, Marty. I have no idea. Wanna talk to her in private, boss? No thanks, Marty. What can I even say to her? How about thanks? What can I... So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Yes, I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Ma'am? Goodbye, detectives. Bye! Wait, wait, what, what do I do now? I can't do anything. I talk to her again? And what about you, Sonny? I'll go home and sleep. Maybe for three days. I'll try to forget. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. If there's anything I can do. I'm not sorry, Natasha. It's better this way. We find out painful truths, but at least we see clearly now, don't we? Yes, I think you're right. Uh, what's up, Grim? Welcome to the, uh, to the stream. We're just about wrapping up here. I think she voices uh, <laughs> Natasha. Uh, uh, sure. I guess I can kind of see it. Uh, wait, wait, where are we supposed to do now? Like, do I talk to her again? Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. You saved our lives. But it was also me who endangered you in the first place, right? Well, I won't argue about that. Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. But it well, I won't. Oh, well, now what? Like, I can't use my thing, like, and I talk to everybody. Hold on. Santino, you'd know then get. Oh, I talk to Monica again? See you at the PD? At the PD. No, did uh, I talk to Tim again? But just one. No. Fillmore? Anyway, it's good to see you here, Hawkeye. I'm glad you made it out alive. It didn't take you much. Yeah, not much. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, maybe I just gotta go into the entrance. Oh, oh, ho, ho. I see. Like, it's kind of like saying our like goodbyes, to everybody that we spoke to. Okay, my bad. Please tell me there's gonna be a glorious if we're lucky. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. 
For myself, I'm glad, gentlemen. I would have sincerely regretted it if we had to shoot both of you, but unfortunately, that seemed to be the only solution to this uh, rather nasty situation. Fortunately, it didn't turn out that way. Joyful. Don't think we'll be behind bars for long chickens. Whistler may be dead, but his empire still won't crumble. Oh, look at that. He can talk. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. I hope we'll meet again, gentlemen. So do I, Shakespeare. And uh, while you're sitting in your cell, you could teach your famous manners to your friend, too. Maybe I will, Mr. Featherland. I certainly hope so, pal. I don't know. Archibald's pretty damn cool. But even though he's still technically on the wrong side, but still. So long, guys. And good old good boy Bosco. Look at that. The mongrel caught himself some big game. Now he can wag his tail. Yuck. The catch of a lifetime. The catch. You're a good boy, Bosco. Nice work. You know, folks, somebody's got to take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city. Sorry for the mess, Bosco, but you know us. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. Hey, a second longer and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. Cluck you sideways, Bosco. <laughs> okay, maybe I take back my good boy thing. Is this... Wait, I just realized, are his butt, his, uh, his damn pants undone? Nice catch, Bosco. You can mount them on your wall as trophies. Yeah, I wish I could, Sonny. Nice catch, Bosco. Yeah, I wish. Do you think she was part of it? I don't think so, Marty. She seemed entirely honest. Maybe she was the only one who was honest with us the whole time. You may be right. Listen, Marty, does Laura know about, uh, you and her? That was before, Sonny. Laura and I were just getting to know each other. Olivia was only a couple of dates. You broke her heart, didn't you? I don't think she ever felt anything for me. Whatever you say, pal. <laughs> he didn't butt them, butt them back up after using the bathroom after pissing. Bad boy. <laughs> hey, maybe. Marty should... Hey, Olivia. Marty? I just, uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us. I didn't do it only for you, believe me. I loved my job while I had it. Now my employee is dead, so I don't have a job anymore. I didn't even think of that. Of course you didn't. Can I do anything to help? I think I'll manage. I always do. If there's anything at all... Thank you, Martin. There's no need for that. If there's... Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized, now what do I do? I can't go anywhere else. So, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The chicken police in the flesh. Damn it, Tim. Drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you deserve it. What the cluck did you say, boss? Stand up straight and try to look like someone who's glad to be alive. Uh, yes, sir, we'll try. Ooh, attention chicken police. Say cheese. Back together and... <laughs> What the hell type of picture was that with freaking Sunny? Wow, we're all over the place. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been Chicken Police. The following animal species were not included in this game. Wow, okay. I mean, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be easier to tell me what, what species were in the game? There's like a lot of... 
Oh, never mind. Mostly because of the development of the game, 2018-2020, all these species have been declared extinct. According to the lowest possible scientific estimate, between 200 and 2,000 extinctions occur every year. Wow. That's a thousand times higher than the natural extinction rate. Wow. I did not realize that at all. That it would, it would be that much. I learned something. Wow, wait, look, look at the development there on the left. Wow, like Centino. Wow, that's something. Oh, yeah, the song is nice. I do apologize. I'm, like, uh, talking over it. The body models, all right. <laughs> so, wait, this is from a TH Nordic division? I thought it was like, well, maybe I gotta look more into this. Oh, you see it on the right? Murder my sweet was murder my tweet in the game. So they had like little references like that. Um, so yeah. Why did Marty pull out the gun? I mean, how else are you gonna take a picture? <laughs> but yeah, that was it. I gotta say, it ended a little abruptly. Um, but. I thought there was going to be another little scene afterwards. Is that Molly and, like, maybe a, the daughter on the top right there? Up oh, and there, here are the voices. But yeah, Carrie Shall, I believe. Uh, that's freaking Rufus. I'm not familiar with the others, really. But really, they did an amazing job. The voice actors did amazing. This game was amazing. I really enjoyed this. I'm always a sucker for a good story, and they, they did well here, I gotta say. Is that Christina Aguilera? I have, I doubt it, Grinks, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look, they, they have a pet section, and one of them is actually named Bosco, or Bosco, and Sonny. Some of those other names, I don't know how the hell you say. Elvis, Pofi, Douge, Mr. Pinky. Special thanks to uh, all those people. Yay! It's dead. Wow, they they did an amazing job. My hands go out to the wild gentleman. For developing the game, handy games, everyone else. <gasps> to be continued! Woo! Natasha. You were expecting me, weren't you? I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. About what, exactly? You know very well. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now, somewhere on the other side of the world. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light? I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. Maybe you don't really need it. Hm. Maybe you're right. Maybe.
You're telling me the entire time she wanted him to call? Crap, guys, do you guys, do you guys remember the number? Was it 555-223? Or was it 233? Hold on. Now, I want to see if I can call that really quick. But first off, I want to take a look at some of the, uh, some of the, some of the stuff here. I'm missing a, there, there's a cutscene right here that, okay, hold on. That might be to get, like, the true ending. I'm going to do it. Hold on. So here's the art gallery. Um... Wait, hold on really quick. Is that a colored... Oh, yeah, look. It's look, I like that. See? When, when they color the actual environments, it looks insane. Um, or even... The residency. That's cool. I was kind of hoping at the end of the game it would all open up. Um, model shooting. That's pretty cool. I mean, you gotta get your references somehow, right? Um, even for the cats. Look at the blue guys, Natasha. Oh, I'm not even a cat guy, and that's just adorable. Um, old ass concept art. <laughs> Can you imagine if this is what it turned? <laughs> this is what it like actually was. Ah. Uh, Pixel versions of them. It was two nine three. Okay, thank you, Justin. I thought it was two two three. Um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it in a second if I can skip through it all. Uh, all the uh, articles at the end. It's pretty damn cool. All right. Ah, damn. Yeah, I well actually I kind of missed this early on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So number eight, I missed it. Damn. Oh, well, maybe I'll do that my own time. That means I gotta replay a damn the whole damn game again. Like some of these achievements get a Frank Drebin grade at questioning. That means I can just totally mess up. That's that'll be funny. I gotta find all police novels, get all the collectible extras. Or I guess would be the damn. Novel, so I missed out on those. Some of these are straight up hidden. Like, I don't know how the hell to get those. Get all the cutscenes, unlock all the trophies. I'm, I was actually pretty damn close getting all the achievements. Alright, so... If I load... What happens if I load? Hello, boss. Hello. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. <laughs> damn. Nope, that's not gonna work. I was kind of hoping that, um, uh, I can go, like, it'll, it'll load before and I can go back to the, the house or something. Okay, let me just do this. Skip, 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 skip. Right. Okay, here we are. So, five, 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 two, nine, three, apparently. Are we sure it was 293? I, 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 hold on. I wrote down 223. Let's see if that's it. Uh-oh. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hold. Let me do that again. Ugh. Maybe I accidentally skipped something.
All right. I was going to leave this alone. It's just the music again. Um... I was really hoping for something insane to happen. Um, damn. Cause I thought like, I thought it was like, oh look, it was her, uh, Molly that called, you know? Um, or like wanted us to call. No! I'm an idiot! I'm a complete idiot. Um, she gave him the pack of matches. And that was her number. Oh my god. I don't know why I thought Santino had it already on him. And it was Molly. My bad. Here I am thinking it was like some like huge thing. Like, oh my god, huge conspiracy. Um, well, now what I am a little curious about is the um, the cutscene. There's a secret. There is a secret ending. Oh my god, there is a, um... Ugh. I, I had to get all the collectibles. Oh, man. Really? Just to get, just to get the secret ending, I, I gotta get the collectibles? Where the hell was that one book? And I wish I can go back and, like, get it or something, but... Um, apparently I couldn't. Uh, damn. Yeah, I'm pretty damn curious about the, uh, about the ending as well. I mean... Should we just look it up, ladies and gentlemen? Should we, should we just look up the the secret ending? Because, I mean, it really sucks that the only reason that it didn't open up was because I missed one book. <sighs> that that's what sucks. All right, guys, hold on. Let me find the secret ending. Good old YouTube should help me. Ah, that's Twitter. Good old uh, YouTube should help me out here. Do, 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 do. Chicken police secret ending. This looks about right. It's only 30 seconds long. Here we are. Uh, and then I gotta switch over my OBS thing. At this point, just play it. You grind out so hard. I It pisses me off, though, just because it's like I was so close, you know? And just because I missed it, it's like, oh, now I gotta replay the whole game. And it's like, nah. I'm a completionist, but sometimes I'm like, I just... Shush, I'm old and I don't I don't want to replay some stuff again. OBS, I need you to kind of flip the stuff ready, please. Display. Here we are. No! No! 
okay. Really? Well, okay, I'm kind of glad that, uh, that, <laughs> that was, that was just, it was nothing major. I, cause I figured maybe it would be nice to do with Molly, but, uh, eh. Do you know why I find funny, though? Because they were, they were using this trick at the ending ending as well with, like, Natasha and Santino where it was actually an actor, but they just didn't film above the head. <laughs> so that was their way of, like, getting, like, the, the human side of things down. Um, so, okay. Well, that was interesting. I guess it does possibly open up uh, possibilities because, like, they did say to be continued, and I can see them making another game out of this. Now, I'm not sure, like, how successful this game was, but frankly, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too because I've heard about this game for, like, the longest time, and then I assumed that for whatever reason it already came out and I forgot about it, but no. Like, it literally came out, like, like a month ago. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I think this game will be great. And sure enough, I really enjoyed it. Now, once again, the story was a little cliche, per se, you know, but I think it still got me, you know? Like, I wasn't expecting it off the, the very beginning of the game. It's like, ah, secret brother, and replaced him, you know? But, uh, or maybe they were kind of going for that because that's how a lot of those detective noir or even, like, novels kind of were, you know? Like, it's kind of like watching a soap opera. It's like, oh, my God, you know, Hector has a, uh, a, another a secret brother, and then, oh, my God, he has another third brother, and it's like, oh, but it's actually his father. Da, 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 da. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm being stupid, obviously. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I enjoyed... What, what this game had uh, had to throw at us, really. And uh, if they really are making a sequel, then I'll, I'll be all for it to cover it. Um, but I assume that'll, that'll be in some time. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you all enough for watching this with me and uh, being awesome. Um, I mean, you guys could be doing anything with your time. If you guys decide to stay here with me, I really do appreciate it. Uh, you kind of can't help being a bit cl uh, clicky with noir S games. I hear you, Dragon. And oh my god, I'm so sorry. You were supposed to freaking stream, aren't you? Uh, so, I don't know. I'm not I'm not putting pressure on you if you're going to do it now or you're going to do it tomorrow, whatever it may be. But, um, whatever streaming, enjoy yourselves. And yeah, thank, no problem, guys. I hope, you all, I hope you all really enjoyed this stream. So, and, and, okay, so she is going to be streaming. Guys, if you guys feel like, uh, um, still being together and doing whatever, Dragon will be streaming in just a little bit. So, be sure to follow her and, uh, enjoy that. Me, in the meantime, I gotta eat. Because I literally only had one little slice of pizza the whole day. So, I am hungry. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that.